All right, now we made it through the weekend with those freezing cold temperatures. Uh, Marty, looking pretty festive today. I love the red. You're going to tell me something that's going to blow my mind about this yeah, weather. Yeah, I was aren't telling you? this to Kelsey during the break. Listen, believe me, folks, well, we just came out of is severe, all capital letters. There is no getting around it. And in, in, in just a few seconds, I'm going to be talking about a mild up and then a warm up. And the worst of this is well in our rearview mirror. But this will tell you just how bad it was, okay? Listen to this. Are we ready? This is going to blow your mind. Yesterday's maximum temperature of 20 degrees Fahrenheit tied the daily lowest maximum temperature record at BWI Marshall last set in 1892. No way. Two centuries ago. Oh. Oh. That's how severe it was. Good evening, everyone. I hope your Christmas was a, a fantastic event for you. Happy Hanukkah. Last day of Hanukkah. We start Kwanzaa tomorrow. 16 degrees on TV Hill right now will be the forecast overnight low. 14 Westminster and Bel Air, 20 Annapolis, 15 Frederick, 15 Elkton, Easton, and Rock Hall, 13 Hagerstown, 6 will be the overnight low in Oakland, 21 on Coastal Highway. But, you know, look, I mean, 16 degrees is no walk in the park, about 3 degrees warmer than the past overnight. I do want you to note, though, that the wind chill tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., it's going to be 9 degrees. Now, that's cold by, by any definition. But Saturday morning, it was minus 10. Now, look at the wind chills as we move through tomorrow. We'll go ahead and stop the future cast around lunchtime. It's going to feel like 21 degrees. Let's go ahead and move it on up toward dinner time. You're going to see temperatures about 27, 28 degrees, and they'll hop up just a little bit more as we go toward the bedtime hours. Then overnight, we really don't see the wind chills come crashing down. So clearly the worst of this is behind us. And we're going to show you the seven-day forecast here momentarily, but watch the Arctic blast. Watch the polar vortex rotate back north. We get into more of a zonal flow. In other words, air coming out of the west and then eventually coming up from the south and southwest. And a lot of times I like to say, painting with a very broad brush, well, there's, where's the air coming from? In the summer, when it comes to the south, it gets real hot. When it comes to the northwest, we get that nice, refreshing cool down. Take a look at the seven-day forecast. Spectacular. Look, still cold tomorrow. Uh, 45, 28, your average daytime high and daytime low. So 33 and 23. But here you go. Not as cold Tuesday. 41 and 24. Then three shy of 50 and 26. One shy of 50. Go ahead and call it 50 on Thursday, 33. Two shy of 60 on Friday, the last day of the year, 55. The overnight low, 52 degrees. It's going to be a very mild New Year's Eve. Watch for a little rain. New Year's Day, 62 degrees with an overnight low of 43. There's the mild up. There's the warm up. We're taking a break, and we're coming right back.